I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What? You are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Warning, data stream unstable, attempting to restore synchronization. 
Hello, Subject 70. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus' control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. <laughs> 